How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with a very exciting video because Arc System Works was kind enough to put out a couple of replays over on the replay channel under the developer tag of both Jiren and Videl. So of course this was too great of a chance to pass up to take a look at both of their gameplays uh, in a more in-depth sort of way. Obviously, you know, when we get trailers for these characters, they're very short, very brief, usually only show off auto combos uh, and maybe one or two supers. This is a great way to see a lot more of their special moves and how they actually play in a fight. Now really quickly before we get into the analysis, I do want to stress that these are not the modded characters that you may or may not have seen floating around on some fan forums. These are just the actual characters in the hands of the developers, and these are two of their replays. Okay, but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and kick things off, starting by taking a look at Jiren. Alright, so really quickly, let's break down some big things with Jiren. Number one is that he doesn't have a low hitting 2L. Number two is that he doesn't have a standard down heavy in the air, or on the ground for that matter, but we'll get to that later. And number three is that he has a decent amount of counter type moves. So let's start by taking a look at his 2L. While it isn't low, I actually think this move might have a lot of potential in terms of being good. It really has a lot of that reach. It's actually pretty fast, uh, and you can easily go into a block string off of this. So this thing might actually be a very useful component of Jiren's toolkit. Moving on to his down heavy in the air, it is definitely a special one. You can see here when you do a down heavy with Jiren, uh, he kind of spins around a lot, and it looks like you can control the timing, at least a little, of when he comes crashing down on his opponent. Obviously, you cannot use this like you would maybe a Super Saiyan Goku's down heavy to extend your combos a bit in the air and get a little bit more damage, but it does have a little more use as maybe a mix-up tool, a way to stall out overheads, and can still be used to end combos for some okay oki -okay, as long as you set the combo up in a certain way. Now you may have heard me also mention that he doesn't have a normal grounded 2H either, and that's because when you catch a super dash with Jiren's down heavy, instead of just knocking up into the air, Jiren decides to get really athletic with it and flips them over his head, switching up the side he's on. Most of the time, I think this is going to be a fantastic thing for him to have, uh, because usually when you catch a super dash, uh, you're not too far away from the corner to your back, uh, so boom, Jiren's already right there. Whereas with other characters, you would have to switch the side. It looks like with Jiren, it's just all natural. You just get the side switch right away. And moving on to Jiren's counters, you can see here at the very beginning, we have one for a normal key blast, though I cannot really see any way which this follow-up is guaranteed. You can see Goku just stand there for a couple of seconds, uh, maybe trying to make the move look good, uh, but some of his more interesting counters include a normal counter, which you can do, uh, which Jiren holds up his hands mid and flips the opponent. He can get some good extensions off of this, but I also noticed he has a low counter where he goes a bit lower to the ground and pretty much strikes the same pose. And obviously that move is for countering lows. Along with those moves, Jiren also does have a command grab, fitting him in nicely with some other big body characters. Unfortunately, it is just as slow as, let's say, Broly's. Uh, that's a bit of a disappointment, but still good. It's always nice having a command grab in your toolkit. As far as other moves in his toolkit goes, Jiren does have this interesting dash attack almost that appears to be invincible to projectiles. Uh, it looks a little whack though, I'm not going to lie, this might not be something you throw out too often, simply because you can see in this video he tries it multiple multiple times and it just gets stuffed by Frieza's normals. Regardless though, having an option to be invincible to beam attacks is never a bad thing to have, it just doesn't look like this one in particular is going to be too too useful. What is useful for Jiren though is his Key Blast game, as it appears to play a big part in his combo game. You can see here, when Jiren gets somebody into the corner, a lot of his damage comes from being able to extend off of these key blasts and eventually go into a down heavy. These combos in and of themselves don't really look too complex, but he's also not using any other assist and still getting very decent damage off of it, so I'm very much looking forward to what people can come up with with this character. And of course, Jiren's level 1 and level 3 super are both pretty basic, but they both get the job done well enough. Okay, and now we can go ahead and move on to Videl. And just like Jiren, let's go ahead and break down some major things that people are going to have questions about. Yes, she does have a low hitting 2L. Uh, she also has a DP. She also has a command grab. She also has a reversal OTG super. She also has an almost spot dodge mechanic. She also, yeah, you get the point. She's looking like a very, very good character. But I also do want to stress that just because she has these great tools doesn't mean they're going to be amazing in practice. Uh, they sure do look that way though, but it's going to take some actual player versus player uh, at the top level to determine whether or not she can make a good use of these tools. In regards to the replay though, there are so many things I want to talk about with Videl. For starters, it looks like she has a way to get sliding knockdown out of most situations due to a way that she can kick her opponent uh, and then very quickly go into a knockdown sort of move. Her block strings in particular also look very interesting, though with the new guard cancel 
potential changes, uh, this is this is one area that's going to require some actual playtesting the most. And of course, we also got to see a lot of what Great Saiyan Man can do. Videl can summon Gohan to either throw a very slow key blast to charge the opponent, or if she's in the air, she can call him for a dive kick-like move. Now, obviously, as you know, this isn't a mechanic totally new to fighters. We have characters like 18 or Ginyu, uh, so you probably already know that these are stuff that can be very exploited in combos and in neutral, but it's really going to come down to uh, what players can find here uh, and what the pressure is like on block or whether or not this is just something you throw at neutral. I will say though that I don't see any way in which this key blast from Gohan here can match the uh, pressure from Android 17's key blast, for example. And one of my favorite things showed off from Videl's gameplay here was this cross up mechanic. As you can see here, Videl has the ability to jump over her opponent and then hit them from the other side very quickly. This looks like it has the potential to be a very, very dirty move in the clutch when you're calling out assist and everything and your opponent isn't too sure what to expect, this looks like it could be crazy. Add this with the fact that she can also get a command grab set up with her kicks where she grabs you with her legs and throws you, uh, that is also just a very dangerous tool. What she'll be able to do after those throws isn't entirely known, but regardless, she can just vanish anyway, so there already is a potential combo route with this. Uh, it's just not as optimal as it probably will be when more players get hands on time with her. And last but not least, we have to talk about her supers. Her level one actually looks unique in that they want you to use it in the middle of a combo it appears, you can knock them up and then extend it with a super dash. Whether or not the damage you get after that will be enough to warrant spending a bar uh, is up in the air, but it does look pretty interesting. Videl also has two level threes, the first one being an Android 18 like a uh, co-op attack with Great Saiyan Man, and the other level three being that OTG reversal super that we mentioned before, where she gets knocked down and then as she's waking up she can input the super and Gohan will come out and level them with a super Kamehameha. And that pretty much wraps up everything we could see from these replays, it was a lot of fun going through this stuff. Uh, I was super cool of Arxis to put them out. I hope they meant to do that. <laughs> and also guys, since I can't really make a full video on it, I do want to mention that there has been some data mining stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and look that up for yourself on like the subreddit or something, but there have been costumes confirmed for Videl. Uh, Pigtail Videl is coming. It is in the game. Uh, Great Sandman as well gets his OG outfit. So a lot of, a lot of cool stuff coming up for season two of Dragon Ball Fighters. Hopefully you guys can go down in the comments. Let me know what you're excited for. Uh, and if you like this video and channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I also have a few videos up on your screen right now. If any of them pique your interest, go ahead and click on them. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for me. Remember to leave me your thoughts on Jiren and Videl. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next one.